Hey, I'm Luke, man. I am in software and I li like to, I want to, my goal is to help other people get into software. Sorry, early. Um, <clears throat> so this video is about how to ask good questions in an interview. And I, you hear a lot of people uh, talk about this, um, but I haven't heard somebody say what I'm going to say. So maybe it's new. Maybe, <laughs> maybe not. Um, anyway, so you know, typically when you hear people talk about good questions in an interview, those questions are pre-baked. So ask this question, ask, um, how do you measure success in this role? And you know, that's a great question. And there are lots of good pre-baked questions in interviews, but something I do that I think has worked well for me and that, um, you know, I, I think is a great approach to asking questions in an interview, uh, that kind of just nudges you up a little bit in the interviewer's mind is to ask um, dynamic questions in the interview, which I, what I mean by that is ask questions that come out of something they have said in the interview. And it can be, you know, kind of based on a pre-baked question, but then you bring it up as like a response to something they have said. For instance, um, you know, I'm I have things that I always want to know about before I go into an interview. Um, and that is pretty much like, what's the team size? Um, you know, and the experience level of the team, um, because that matters to me. Uh, what is the project work like? And, um, you know, how do, how do you, uh, what's the process for you doing your work? So like, um, how do you do agile? How do you do, you know, um, do you do Kanban or, um, you know, uh, two week sprints that are, you know, whatever it is, cause there's, you know, a thousand flavors of that process. Um, I want to learn about that. And so I don't just ask pre big questions about that. You know, I let them tell me about the role. Uh, and then as they're, um, you know, talking it, as I have an opportunity, if I have a question that's come up in my mind about one of those things, then I ask it, but in such a way that it is um, a natural response to what they've said. So that they tell me about the role, they talk about the project, and I say, okay, so if I understand correctly, what you're saying is the pro these are the projects, and I'd probably be working on this one, and it's in these technologies, and you know, this is where the product is at in its life cycle, like, hey, it's pre-release, or it's been released, so, you know, and I ask questions about, you know, what am I specifically going to be working on and what, what is working on that thing look like? Uh, because that's, you know, I care a lot about the type of work that I'm doing. That's where most of my job satisfaction comes from. So I want to ask about that. <clears throat> and I might even say that, I'm, you know, and that's probably another question they're going to ask is like, okay, how do you measure, like, your job satisfaction, what makes you happy in a role, what would you like to be doing, you know, um, and I'll, I'll talk about that. And, you know, sometimes, you know, talking about those things or questions that you ask help you realize, I'm not going to like this job because it's mostly bug fixing, <laughs> you know, <laughs> something like that. And you don't have to say that in the interview, but um, <laughs> I've kind of gotten down a tangent here, but, you know, sometimes those questions that you'll ask will uh, prompt a response that is not what you want to hear. And sometimes, you know, that's okay. Like you don't have to, you know, show your hand and say like, oh, that's not what I was hoping to hear, you know, unless I'm in the interview early. You know, um, yeah, I guess it's just asking insightful questions that are based on the conversation, you know, works well in interviews and then also sometimes um, prompts responses that let you know, I don't really want this job. Um, so, yeah, I thought going into this video that it was going to be just about how to ask good questions so that you can get, do better in the interview, um, but it's turned into how to do that and then also, you know, it results sometimes in feedback that, um, not feedback, but information, uh, insight into the role that means, hey, I don't want this job. That's it.